Jen Nugent here with The Chief Peak, and today we're going to be doing a full body, no repeat workout. So for this workout, we're going to be doing 25 exercises performed all in a row for just one set each. Our working time is 40 seconds, our break time is 20 seconds. We'll have no extended breaks during this workout. If you like this workout, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get to work. Alright, we've got about 20 seconds until we get started with our warm up. If you have a fitness dragon watch, be sure to start your workout now. Our first exercise we're going into is lateral hop. So what we're going to do is have our feet together and then hop over and then hop back. And we're just going to keep doing that the entire time. Low impact, you're just going to step back behind like that. Here we go. Alright, nice and easy. Try to keep the heels off the ground, powering up with the calves through the toes. Here we go. Get that blood flow going. Don't forget to breathe. Next, we're going to be going in to toe touches, so we're going to get our feet out nice and wide. Here we go. Feet out nice and wide. Come down, touch one toe, go down, touch the other toe. There we go. If you want, you can have your legs straight or you can have a slight bend in the knees going at your own pace. Try to keep the lower back nice and straight on some. And then in others, what you can do is also bend your lower back as well to kind of stretch it out and warm it up. There we go. Next, we're going to go into alternating forward lunges. So get some space out in front of you. There we go. So we're just going to drop out with one foot, come back up, switch feet. Nice and easy, go at your own pace. If you want to kind of hang out like Jen's doing and really stretch it out, you can do that. Totally fine. Next we're going to be going into bit over rows with just our body weight. Nothing crazy yet. There we go. So bending at the hips and knees here, we're just coming down, coming back up. So when you come up, squeeze the back. Here we go. Just trying to tell all the muscles. They're about, about to be put to work here. There we go. Come back and squeeze. Keep that back nice and straight. There we go. Next we're going into chest openers. There we go, so we're going to stand straight up, slide bend in the elbows, pull back, and then come back across. There we go, so we can keep doing this. If you want to speed it up, you can. If you want to slow it down, really try to pull it open, that's fine too. After this, we're going to be going into a high row or high pull with external rotation. Alright, so from here, hands down, we're going to pull up, and then we're going to rotate the hands back, and then come back down. So, pull up, and then rotate back. So, you're probably going to feel it in your traps and shoulders, so right here, and then into the shoulders. I'm up, pull back, back down. There we go, after this, we got a 20 second break before we get started with the workout. We go get some water if you need it. We got 20 seconds. We're gonna be going in to bicep curls first. So today we're gonna do a little pre-exhaust action. So we're gonna pre-exhaust the biceps and then do some back, and then we're gonna pre-exhaust the triceps and then hit the chest. So right here, palms out, and then curling up, coming down. There we go. So hopefully. While we're doing bit over rows, next, we we'll feel our biceps burn just a little bit more. Here we go, good controlled movements. If it gets too tough, you can always alternate left and right, just like that. There we go, come up, squeeze, back down. Good controlled movements. There we go. One more. There we go. All right, next we're going into bit over rows on the left side. So we're going to get that nice split stance. Right leg out front. If you have bands, loop the band around that right foot. 
And then from here, free hand goes on the knee. We're going to pull back, come back down. Palm facing the body here. There we go. And then back and down. All the way up and all the way down. There we go. Exhale as you pull the hand up. Inhale as you bring the hand back down. Good controlled movement. Good reps. Come on. Keep pushing. Come on. Let's go. Oh, we got one more in us. Come on. Here we go. All right, we're going into hammer curls next. So similar to bicep curls, except this time our palms are going to stay facing each other the entire time. So we're going to have no wrist movement, palms facing each other. Here we go. So coming up, back down. Up, back down. Here we go. Push it. Do that left bicep a little more than the right. Come on. Keep pushing. Come up, squeeze. Back down. Control it up. Control it down. Don't just bring it up and then just let it pop right back down. Even with dumbbells, control them up. Control them down. Ah, come on. One more. Ah, here we go. All right, we're going into bent over rows, right side this time. So, left foot out. If you have bands, loop the band or bands around that left foot. Drop the right one back. Left hand goes on the knee here to brace the back. Here we go. Come up. Here we go. Push it out. Good control movements. Let's go. Don't forget to breathe. Come on. Ten seconds. Let's go. Keep pushing. One more. There we go. Good reps right there. All right, next one into overhead tricep extension. If you have dumbbells, you can use one or two dumbbells. Either one's five bands. Pull one of your handles down the ground, step on the band. I like to do a step through, have the long end on the inside. I just literally put my thumbs through the inside of the handle, bring it up and over. Here we go. And up and down. Good control movements. Don't forget to breathe. Exhale as you bring your hands up. There we go. Come on. There we go. Keep pushing. Push yourself here. Let's go. Come on. You got a couple reps left. There we go. All right, we're going in to chest press or push-ups. So if you have bands and you want to do a standing chest press, that's totally fine. Wrap it around your back right here, and then from here we're going to push straight out, come back. If you can do push-ups, do push-ups. If you have dumbbells, you can do a lying chest press, or you can do push-ups on your dumbbells too. Here we go. Keep the core nice and engaged. There we go. Make sure you don't flare those elbows straight out to the side. We want them pulled in just a little bit. Exhaling as you push up. Inhale as you come down. There we go. Come on. Feel those triceps catching fire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Come on. Keep pushing. You got it. All day. Let's get one more. There we go. Alright, next we're going in to static lunges on the left side. So, now left foot out. Put your bands, your bands under it, dumbbells 
grab your dumbbells, and then from here, get that split stance going. So we're gonna be in the split stance, stay here. So we're just dropping straight down, come up. Make sure to engage the core, chest out, head up. There we go. Come on. Good controlled movements. Keep pushing. Come on. Keep going. Good reps, good reps. Come on. One more. Here we go. Switch the sides. Woo! You and you both. I know. <laughs> Here we go. Switching sides. All right, let's go. Remember, we're keeping that split stance. Let's go. Come on. Chest out, head up, core engaged, dropping straight down, coming back up. Here we go. Halfway. Keep pushing. Good control reps. Let's go. Come on. There we go. Alright, next one into sumo squats. So for dumbbells, you can just hold one dumbbell if you want, kind of up in a rack position. Bands, take your bands, put them out nice and flat, step on the ends. Here we go. Grab it in the center, and then drop straight down, coming back up. There we go. Remember, chest out, head up, back nice and straight. Weight in the heels. Come on. Doing good. Keep pushing. Push yourself here. Now try to drop down as far as you can. And then come back up. Let's get one more. Here we go. We have shoulder press next. If you have bands, you got two options here. You can do it standing. So, right here, palms out, pressing up, or you can do it kneeling. Band goes under the knee that is down. Right here, doing right, palms facing out away from us, pushing up, coming back down. Elbows stay in front of the shoulders at all times. Here we go. Come on. Push it out. Let's go if you need to. Just alternate left and right. That's totally fine. If you have dumbbells, you can also use your legs to drop down and explode up and use momentum to get the dumbbells up and then slowly lower them down. Here we go. We got lateral raises. We ain't done with shoulders yet. <laughs> All right, so slight bend in the elbows here, coming up, back down. We're gonna have a, lot, a little bend in the uh, elbows, but we're gonna lock that in place. We're not gonna bend our arms anymore after that. Here we go, coming out, back down. <laughs> here we go. Come on, try to control it off, control it down. Here we go. Have your thumbs slightly higher than the pinkies. When we're out here, we don't want our thumbs lower. Come on. Push it out if you need to. You can alternate, that's totally fine. Just left and right. Let's go. Push it out. Let's get two more. There's one. One more. There we go. All right. We're going into calf raise or power hops. If you have dumbbells, you can do calf raises with your dumbbells or you can do power hops with or without your dumbbells. Bands, you can either do a calf raise 
an alternating calf raise, which is one foot, or the power hops. The power hops drop out two or three inches at the knees, explode up. We also drop down, explode, come back down. Just like that. Land softly. We don't want to land with our knees straight. Just like that. There we go. Oh, now you're getting tricky over here, huh? Come on. There we go. Come on. Explode up, come down. Don't forget to breathe. This one's going to get our heart rate up. Let's go. One more. There we go. Stop right there. Woo! All right, we're going in to close curls. Go, moving right along. Got our heart rate up nice and high there. So, hands together. Dumbbells, try to get your dumbbells together. Bands, the handles together. From here, we're going to curl straight up. Here we go. Come up. And down. Exhale as you bring your hands up, inhale as you bring them down. If you need to, you can alternate left and right. Come on, push it out. Let's go. Keep pushing. Come on, you got it. Good reps. There we go. All right, we're going into reverse grip rows on the left side. So, band goes under that right foot, right hand goes on the knee, left palm facing out. So our hand that's rolling, palm is out, elbow is pulled in here. So we're pulling it up and back to our hip here. Just like that. So palm out, pulling up and back to the hip. There we go. Come on, feel it in that lat right here. Let's go. Keep pushing. Exhale as you pull your hand up. Come on. Keep going. A couple reps. Let's go. Come on. Oh, we got another. There we go. Switching sides here. Woo! You've been going up on everything, huh? I have been. I don't know if you can tell, I'm dying over here. <laughs> I'm trying to push a little heavier. Now there you go. Getting close to the end. Whew. Again, palm facing out away from you, elbow pulled in. Here we go. Pulling up and back to the hip. Here we go. Come on. Here we go. Keep pushing. Halfway. Let's go. Come on. There we go. There we go. All right. Try some kickbacks. Coming up here. You don't need heavy weight for these. Max light resistance is totally fine. So, what we're going to do here is bend at the hips and knees. And then from here, arms go up by the side. And then we're going to kick back. Here we go. So, arms come up, kick back, come back down. And when you come back, squeeze those triceps. Here we go. Come on. Push it out. If you need to alternate, that's totally fine. Do that. Also, make sure that you're not down here like this. We're going to have our head up, chest out, back straight. Come on. 10 seconds. Keep pushing. There we go. Oh, we got one more. There we go. Hearts on this next one. You get to pick your poison. We're going to do wide push-ups or pike push-ups. I know pike push-ups might be difficult for some people, especially for 40 seconds. 
That might include me. So, you can do wide push-ups. Wide push-ups here. Pike push-ups, we're going to have our butt in the air. I'm going to do pike push-ups. So, pike push-ups is going to work more upper chest and shoulders. Wide push-ups is going to target more of the outer pecs. There we go. Exhale as you push up. Come on. Keep that head up if you're doing pike push-ups. I like to try to just barely touch my chin to the ground. There we go. Come on. I laugh because mine doesn't get anywhere near. <laughs> Well, with the wide push ups, you have something else blocking you. Yeah. I, don't, I don't have that problem. Yes. <laughs> Alright, next we're going in to bend over high rows. Again, nice light resistance here. Nothing crazy. So, keeping the back straight. This time, our arms are going to be up high. So, when we pull up, we're kind of bringing the hands to the shoulders right here. Just like that. So, they're going to come nice and high. That's why much lighter resistance is used. You're going to feel like catch a burn right between the shoulder blades, possibly even the back of the shoulders, the rear delts. If you need to alternate, that's totally fine. Come on. Let's go. Keep pushing. A couple more reps. If you need to alternate, that's fine. One more. Oh, there we go. We got Arnold's next. So it's like shoulder pad, but we're gonna start off with our palms facing us. So palms facing us, as we push up, palms go away. If you wanna do it on the ground or kneeling with the bands, that's great too. Same thing, palms start off facing us. As we push up, rotate the palms away, bring them down, palm towards us. Up and away, down, palm towards us. Keeping the elbows in front of the shoulders. There we go, come on. Let's go. Now push it out. Keep pushing, come on. You got it. Oh, good reps, come on. We got one more in us. There we go. Alright, we got RDLs next. So, slight bend in the knees here, and then we're hinging at the hips. Lower back stays nice and straight. So, right here, coming down, sink the butt back. Here we go. And then up. And down. As you come down, chest out, head up. We don't want to come down like this, bending our lower back. There we go. Remember to sink the butt back. Hands stay nice and close to the legs. There we go. Come on. Push it out. There we go. Exhale as you come up. Push it out. One more. There we go. Alright, we're going to do deadlifts next. So, pretty much just widen your feet out here. And then what we're going to do is as we come down to a squat, our forearms are going to stay on our knees or out in front of us. And then we're going to come up. So it's not a normal squat where we're dropping down. Our butt's going to stay higher on this one as we squat down. Here we go. So, I'm up. back stays straight, chest out, head up. This is just putting more tension on those hamstrings again. There we go. So just let your forearms run down in front of your knees. Here we go, chest out, head up. Come on, keep pushing. There we go. Come on. There we go. Explode through with the hips. Oh, we got one more in us. Here we go. Alright, next we got body weight squats. Oops. So, just gonna try to knock a lot of them out. See how many you can get. Count it. 
So feet about shoulder width apart, just dropping down into the squat, coming back up. Here we go. Come on, see how many you can get. It's all right to go fast. Keep that back straight, chest out, head up. Come on, bam, bam. Let's go. Come on. See if we can get one a second. Let's go, come on, boom, boom. Let's go, let's go. Come on, you're a machine. Ah, ah. What you got, Jim? What you got? Ah, ah. Come on, push it. Bam, bam, bam. Let's go. You got to keep pushing. There we go, easy peasy. All right, next one in the reverse crunches. Our last three are going to be abs. What's a workout without some abs, huh? All right, so we're going to lay down on the ground on our back. Put your hands up under your butt. Try to keep your head up. Legs start out, bring them in. There we go, as you come in, exhale. You bring the knees up, big breath out, squeeze the core. There we go. If this is too tough, when you're here, just drop straight down, come back. Boom, that gives you a little rest. Another option is to drop them out here, and then come out. Sink your breathing with the movement. Here we go, come on. Keep that head up. Let's go. Here we go. All right, we're going into cross body crunches here. So feet are going to stay down. Hands behind the head. When we come up, we're going to rotate the body over. Try to point the elbow towards the opposite knee. Here we go, hands behind the head. So coming up and then over to the side. Coming up, over to the side. Again, as you come up, exhale. And then when you're coming back. If you want, you can even have your knees in the air or feet in the air, that's totally fine. Try to get the shoulder blades off the ground each rep. Come on. Here we go. Keep pushing. One more. There we go. We're going to stay on our back right here for leg lift. So again, the hands go up under the butt and then legs go out. We're coming up and back down. If you want, when you come up, you get that little hip thrust. That should be happening from the core, not your hands pushing down. Here we go. Feet out, head up. There you go. If this is too tough, then just come down, rest for two seconds or so, come back up. Another option is just to do single legs, just like this. Come on. Exhale as you bring the feet up. Come on, push it out. Let's go. Good reps, good reps, come on. Oh, let's get one more. We got one more. There we go. Good stuff. Good workout. Good, job. good stuff right there. Good job. Ooh, nice little hat burner right there at the end. Good work. That was a fun one. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed this workout today. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys tomorrow. See Bye. you guys.